Um, we're standing in front here of the L90, yes. which is a brand new machine from Volvo. Can you tell me, first of all, just what it is and, uh, um, and, and why Volvo decided to, uh, to develop this machine? Yeah. Now this is the new L90 battery electric wheel loader from us. And, uh, it's uh, developed in-house with Volvo technology and a Volvo electrification system. So it's actually the same components uh, as you find in the electric trucks in AB Volvo Group. Um, it has a dedicated electric transmission. So we remove the converter, uh, which causes a lot of energy losses in a non-commercial wheel loader. And the electric motors are directly connected to the transmission. And we also have a separate electric motor for the hydraulics. So it's also very energy efficient uh, design of this, uh, this machine. But apart from that, it's also a new uh, HMI, a new operator environment, and it's the latest and greatest, not only when it comes to electrification, but in total, so to say, it's a brand new wheel loader it design. Looked, it looks fantastic. <coughs> we'll, have a, we'll have a closer look around it. Yeah. Um, in terms of the battery pack that's in there, this is the battery at the back here, yeah? Yes, exactly. So it has two of what we call, call the Volvo Q batteries here, mm -hmm. installed in the machine. Uh, and then there is, of course, uh, power electronics and uh, what comes with the electrification is a separate cooling system. So you have one for the power electronics, one for the uh, transmission, etc. And one for the hydraulics. So. And how long would this take mm -hmm. to charge and how long would it work for? Uh, this is designed to work for like in medium duty, I would say five hours. Mm -hmm. And then you can, if you're totally out, it takes like one to one and a half hour to recharge it with a fast charger. Uh, the charging plug over here, so close where you enter the cab and yeah. Uh, <coughs> and you charge it with a CC2 inlet, so it's the same charging standard as you have for cars or trucks or, or whatever. So you can, on a site, you can share the charging infrastructure with other equipment uh, or vehicles. That's great. Thank you. We'll have a look at the other one as well mm? in a minute. It's over there. But we saw the slightly smaller one. This is the larger one, right? Yeah, so this is one, one size class larger loader, mainly used in rehandling, but of course, all kind of application like service machine or larger builder sites, etc. Uh, but very common for our strategic accounts as a rehandle machine. So here we target a bit more uh, runtime. So this actually operates for a full working day, and I would say you know, most of our customers' applications and, and duty cycles. Um, and here we have, you can't see them of course, but under the hood here in the rear, we have the battery packs. Uh, uh, then we have the same principle design on the transmission. We have removed the power converter and we have the electric motors directly to the transmission. Same motors actually, but in this case, two motors for the transmission or for the propulsion and one for the hydraulics. So also decoupled systems for energy efficiency and better operability and control. Um, and as I said, then a really good uh, runtime of, of a full working day. So we had this machine for quite extensive uh, customer tests in real, uh, real sites, so to say. Uh, in uh, several sites in China, Dubai, Australia, etc. So, uh, very positive feedback in the operability and, and the runtime. And also, here the batteries are temperature controlled, so we have cooling and heating on the battery yeah. packs. So yeah, like you say, it was, it was tested in Dubai, and yeah, so yeah. it's been tested very hot. Yes. Hot uh, conditions and, and cold conditions as well. Yeah, uh, that's ongoing, but. Uh, it's designed for, for the same, yeah. manage both uh, cold and warm it could, do, it could do it all, yeah. but just as you would expect a diesel machine. And it can run all day. Yeah, this is in absolutely most cases, this yeah. will manage yeah. a full day, which okay. is uh, makes it a bit uh, easier than... Uh, like, you can also put it in a bit tougher applications, so where, you know... Makes uh, the management much uh, easier. High, high productivity, yeah. yes. Really, but you were saying just now was about the vibrations. That's something that I, I, you know, you don't always think about. You think about the noise, think about obviously the low CO2. Yeah. But vibrations means that these machines can be actually a lot more comfortable to operate. Yes, and to be, <laughs> to be honest, operators don't think of it either until oh. they tried it. Because then they experience that they're not as exhausted as they are in the diesel machine because they're not so affected by combination of the noise and the vibrations, of course. But the vibration is not maybe something you, I mean, you don't 
experience it, so like a noise, you, you hear it right away, so to say. But the vibrations affect you over time more. And you can see in general we are growing our uh, sustainability portfolio in number of models, machine types, but also machine size as, as going forward here. So as you know, we started with the compact models. We now today have five of those. And now we're very excited to enter the GPA E range. So we, together with these two wheel loaders and the EVR 150, we're taking kind of the next step in, in the transformation journey, I would say.